Hello everyone, I am Siddharth. This is constant part 2 in FreeCAD A2+. In previous tutorial, we learned what is A2+, and constant, and point on point constant. Today, we learn point on line constant. In this constant, we can select vertex, circular edge, or spherical face on one part, and edge on other part. Let's go to solve one example in FreeCAD. Now select A2 plus, select a new file. First we need to save it. Now I am going to open one part. Now I am going to open second part. I use transform. Now we can select a point on this part and edge on another part. Now you can apply point on line constant. Now accept it. Now you can move this part along this fixed part. Now again I am going to open first part. Now I am going to open another part. First we need to transform. Select circular part on one part and select edge on another part and you can apply point on line constant. Now you can drag this part along this edge. Now I am going to open a spare. Select sphere and select edge on second part and select point on line constant. Now you can drag this sphere along this edge. Third constraint is point on plane. In this constraint, we can select vertex, circular edge, spherical face on one part and uh, plane on other part. Now we solve some example in FreeCAD. I am going to open first part. Now I am going to open second part. Apply transform. Select any vertex and select this plane. Now you can select point on plane. You can also apply offset. Now you can drag along this fixed part. In case of circle, you can select this circle and select this plane. Now you can select point on plane. 
you can also drag this object now I am going to open spherical part you can select this spherical face and select this plane face now you can select point on plane constraint you can apply offset you can also drag this sphere along this fixed plane fourth constraint is sphere on sphere in this constraint we can select either spherical face or vertex on both part Now I am going to solve one example on FreeCAD. Now I am going to open one part. Now I am going to open second part. Select this spare face. And select this hemisphere now you can select sphere to sphere constraint now this part is fixed you can apply two or more constraint together select this point and select this plane and apply point on plane constraint Now select this spherical face and this sphere. Now you can apply sphere to sphere constraint. Now you can move this part along this wall. A fifth constraint is circular edge on circular edge. In this constraint, we can select circular edge on both part. Let's go to solve one example on this constraint. I'm going to open first part. Now I'm going to open second part. Select this circular part, select circle on second part, now select circular edge constraint, you can apply offset, fifth constraint is axis coincident, in this constraint we can select either cylindrical face or linear edge on both part let's go to solve one example on this constraint now i'm going to open first part and i'm going to open second part now select cylindrical face on one part and cylindrical face on second part now select axis coincident now accept it. Now you can move this part along this axis. Sixth constraint is axis parallel constraint. In this constraint, we can select either cylindrical face or linear edge on both parts. Let's go to solve one example. Now I am going to open first part. Now second part. I use transform tool. Select cylindrical face on first part and select cylindrical face on second part. Now you can apply axis parallel constraint. You can also apply axis coincident constraint. Now you can drag this part. 
seventh constraint is axis on plane parallel constraint. In this constraint, we can select either cylindrical face or linear edge on one part and plane on another part. Let's go to solve one example. You can select this cylindrical face and select this plane surface. Now you can use this axis plane parallel constraint. So this cylindrical face parallel to this axis. Now accept it. You can also select this edge and select this plane surface and select axis plane parallel constraint. Now you can also use parallel constraint and you can also use axis coincident constraint. Now you can fix on this part. Eighth constraint is axis on plane normal. In this constraint we can select either cylindrical face or linear edge on one part and plane on other part. Let's go to solve one example. Select cylindrical face on this object and select this plane. Now you can use axis normal to plane constraint. You can also apply axis coincident constraint. Another constraint I will discuss in next tutorial. Thank you for watching video.